Megan, going in today's race, um, what were your expectations and did you meet them? I kind of came in without expectations. I was hoping to get under 20, you know, I had run pretty close to like the low 19s last year, so I was just hoping to run good, you know. I wasn't really expecting much, I didn't look too much into like competition and stuff, so I definitely surprised myself. You know, I was leading for a little bit in the beginning, um, which, you know, was very out of my comfort zone, so I'm very happy with what I was able to do. When you say it's out of your comfort zone, how were you feeling then in the moment? Were you more excited that you were in the front of the pack, or were you kind of wishing that maybe you held back a little bit and reserved your energy for the end? Honestly, kind of a little bit. You know, I came in freshman year to a really hot team, so I was never used to running towards the front or near the front in, like, virtually any race. Um, so, kind of getting there, I was like, okay, you know, I feel good. I'll try to pick up the pace and see who will come with me and see how much I can keep it up. And I feel like I did a pretty good job at that. And I know you didn't compete in this state meet last year. Running it this year, what was your strategy going into it and what was your ultimate goal? You know, I was definitely a little nervous. Last year I was a little sick, so I didn't get to make this meet. Um, so it was, it's very nice to have a race at Homedale before going up to states and mock. You know, it's pretty scary races to have your first Homedale meet be. Um, strategy was just kind of go out, find a pace that's a little uncomfortable, and try your best to hold it. What do you feel like was the hardest part of today's course? The hardest part was probably right at the top of the bowl. Um, I was kind of in a weird spot where there were a few people ahead of me and a few people behind, and I was kind of in the middle of nowhere. I just had to keep telling myself, you know, keep this pace, you're doing good, deep breaths, roll with it, try to catch up. If you can't, you're still running great. How were you feeling once then you were coming down to that downhill and you see the finish line in sight? What was going through your mind? It, it was pretty nice, you know. Uh, it was definitely rough, you know, it was pretty warm outside, out today. Um, seeing there was really relieving, you know. Seeing the time, I was pretty happy with it. So it was just kind of a bittersweet moment knowing it was my last short coaches also. Knowing that it was so hot today, I mean, the sun is blaring, um, did that change the way you were racing? Not necessarily. Um, I try to kind of put it at the back of my mind, you know, I'm hot, I'm tired, everyone's hot, everyone's tired. It's just whoever's most gritty. What are some of your goals now moving forward to other meets the rest of the season? My goal is to just kind of keep improving. I really want to, a big goal going into the season is to break into the 18s, get under 19 minutes, um, which I'm hoping I can do with the continued training and the support of my team. Can you talk a little bit about your training and what has it taken for you to get to this moment right now? Yeah, it's definitely been an up and down course, you know. Uh, last spring I didn't have a great season. I continued to be falling short of my goals. I took a little time off, kind of refocused myself. I had, we have a lot of new girls out this season uh, and are, we're looking pretty good and I have a lot of girls to support me, so I'm excited. Do you ever feel like there's pressure being a youth athlete and how do you handle that pressure of being able to perform well? There's definitely a lot of pressure. Um, I feel like more, most of the pressure is what I put on myself, you know. A lot of other people, they're going to be happy with what you did no matter what, whether you think you race good or you think you race bad. And you have to, you have to put enough pressure on yourself that you're going to want to perform to your goals, but you don't want to be too hard on yourself. Like, I could have came out here today and been like, oh, I wanted to win, I didn't do good, but I got a, I got a um, race PR, I placed pretty high, I was able to keep up the pace, and you just have to be nice and good to yourself. Do you have any like pre-race rituals or something that you have to do before um, get rid of that nervousness before well, competing? I, so I kind of just, you know, you got to talk to yourself, you know. I've I've done through the training, I've raced this before, I've done this. It's no harder for me than it is for anyone else. And I have to throw this in there. My friends, they make fun of me for it. Gotta get the side stretch so that you don't get a cramp. I love that. Well, thank you so much. And